Hello, I am back from my vacation and this is going to be a chat get ready with me video where I will tell you all about it. So I'm going to be looking over here because this is where my mirror is, but I came back Saturday was our flight, got here. Um, I think like six ish when we got here and I had a wonderful time I was in Massachusetts visiting my parents for about a month almost a month four weeks and it was really really great I was there with my kids my husband was home both because he had to work and he took care of our dogs while I was gone and sorry <laughs> it's so hard to talk sometimes when I'm doing this area here um so we got to do so much stuff one of the things is we got a house for a week in Cape Cod and Dumasport and we stayed there and got to go to the beach and stuff. We're not really like huge beach people, so it wasn't, um, we didn't necessarily go to the beach like every single day or anything like that. We did go a couple of times, but I mean like the way that normal people go to the beach, you know, they, they go there in the morning and they lay out there most of the day and stuff like that. I think I just sprayed a little too much on of the Georgia's aloe. Haven't used it. I missed it so much while I was gone. I didn't pack it with me because it's such a big bottle and I was like, ah, don't really need it. <laughs> and um, I wish I had brought it because I missed it a lot. And this is the All Natural Face Powder Foundation. I bought it while I was up north because that's actually one of the things that I got to do is they have a store in Framingham and I got to go there while I was visiting my parents because they live kind of in that area. That is way too much product. Well, we'll see. Maybe I'll just kind of stipple it on and then blend it out. But um, back to the cape. What I really loved doing there was going, um, there's this place, well, I'm sure there's more than one place, but there's a place that we go to, like I've gone there when I was younger too, and, you know, I used to live with my parents and all that stuff when I was back in, you know, high school, and we would go to Brewster at um, Low Tide, and it's really awesome because the water recedes so far out and you can just keep walking like into the ocean forever. It's really, really cool. And there's little tide pools that form. And so every once in a while, you know, you'll come across this like a little puddle. And sometimes there's like little fishes in there and stuff like that. There's these little like hermit crab looking things that we saw and real crabs as well and my daughter really enjoyed it because she loves 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 animals so she had a blast and I really like that part I really like the walking at low tide and um, we did a few other things in the Cape as well there's a um, children's museum that we went to somewhere there that it's not really much of a museum it's more of like a giant playroom with all kinds of neat things like there's a rocket ship and like a whole area that's kind of like farm dedicated with like you know plastic like crops and all kinds of things that you can do so it was really really neat and my son who is one really enjoyed it as well 
because there was like baby stuff too for him to do. But my daughter just didn't want to leave. <laughs> so that was really fun for her. And on our last day there, we did a super fun thing. It's called a pirate adventure, I think is what it was called. And you go on an actual ship. It looks, you know, kind of like a pirate ship. They tried to make it look like a pirate ship. And the people there, they're all dressed up as pirates. And they give the kids, so it's for kids, obviously. First, they draw just with, like, face paints or something, a tattoo on their arm of anything they want. And my daughter got a um, parrot. And then they, um, then you board the ship and they do all kinds of, like, little activities with the kids like um it's the whole thing is like one kind of story adventure and first you have to put together this map and then you have to go try and find this treasure and they did a really um great job with it because there's all these things that you see and find like in the actual um ocean and so they have all of those things on their ship and they just kind of like distract the kids and they'll just like throw it overboard and they actually had a boat they had like a little boat that was on the side of the big boat that later they used like a, like a person that was like a rogue pirate <laughs> that stole our keys to our treasure was on like this little boat out there they like secretly like <laughs> put him out there while the kids were doing something else and then we like saw him and they had these water cannons on the side of the ship and the kids got to the ship like swam around him and the kids had to run from one side of their ship to the other to use these water cannons and essentially attack him and it was really really fun I think I was really really impressed with how neat it was because it was only like $25 I want to say per person so I thought it was, and it was like a long time. This was a long thing. It was like at least an hour, I think. And when they got the treasure chest, finally, they like hauled it out of the water too. It had all these like little, little plastic, like gold coins and rings and necklaces, you know, your typical treasure. And the kids got to take a handful of the treasure. For each of them and so I thought that was really neat. Alessia was really excited and wore her rings and all that stuff and so I really liked it. Let's see what else we did. Um, like I said we did go to the beach a couple times. My brother um, and his girlfriend came and so that was good. I got to meet her for the first time. So I liked that. And I'm sorry, I'm like so disorganized. I was going to get to this part later, but when we, um, when it was time to go home, our flight was on Saturday. And that Friday before our flight, like the whole time we're all healthy. But that Friday before our flight, my son comes down with a fever. And I was like, oh, you've got to be kidding me. And um, so he didn't sleep very well that night. And oh, I got lipstick on my brush right there. And then when we got here, he was thankfully he was okay on the flight. Because he's like, he's pretty mellow. And when he's sick, he's not like hysterically crying or anything. He's more just like mopey, you know what I mean? And we made it. And he's been sick for the past several days and he's had fever so like for like three nights in a row now I have not slept <laughs> so if I am disorganized and all that stuff it's cause you know I'm running on pure adrenaline at this point <laughs> nothing else alright let's see what else I was going to do my eyes my eyeshadow so let me tell you a little bit more about our trip 
after I put on some lipstick. <laughs> so I got to go to the All Natural Face. And another super duper exciting thing happened. And that is I got to meet Brianna from I Love Jessie 444. And I was so excited. Um, I've known her, you know, like through the internet for a while. And I've talked to her that way. But I had never met her in real life before. And so it was really, really exciting because she's from around there as well. And we went to this really cute little farm. Oh, that place was awesome. It's called, if you live, you know, in Massachusetts, <laughs> it's called David's Farmland. I think it's in Sterling or something like that. And that place is amazing for children and adults too. You have to have a child, which is weird. Like they, you have to, um, be accompanied by a child to go there under the age of, I forget, 12 or something. So I thought that was interesting because I'd never seen those kinds of requirements but they have so many different animals that you can pet and brush and feed and it was just amazing like they they even have uh kittens like they have some rescue kittens that the kids can like hold and pet and they're adoptable and then they had um like guinea pigs and ferrets and chinchilla. You couldn't uh, hold a chinchilla, but you can, you know, look at it and stuff like that. And a lizard that my daughter got to pet and a turtle. And then lots and lots of farm animals, just lots of goats and sheep and cows and just all kinds of stuff. And you can brush them. And they have these baby goats, oh my gosh. Though they were the cutest thing I've ever seen. They're just so small and oh, I had a great time. <laughs> they were so cute. And so that place is amazing. Let me just do my eyeliner because I can't really multitask very well with that and then I'll be right back. All right, I managed to do a pretty crooked job <laughs> even though I wasn't even talking while I was doing this. Oh, maybe I can fix it. Another thing that, now this one's going to be like way thicker than the other one. Oh, I give up. <laughs> Another thing that I got to do that was super fun was going to Boston. So I used to live, I used to work in Boston and live right outside of Boston in Quincy. And I haven't been there, you know, obviously in a while. I live in kind of a very suburban kind of area now there's you know not like a, a big city at all and I when I used to live in a big city it was kind of like I don't know like I don't remember liking it all that much I think I wanted to be in like a more rural kind of peace and quiet place but because I haven't been there in so long going back there I was like oh my gosh I miss it so much like I I didn't realize how much I missed it I guess like it's always nice to have you know like maybe I don't want to live in a big city but it's always nice to to visit and go back and, and stuff like that and because peace and quiet like I get sick of it too, you know, so everything's nice in moderation, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. And so while I was in Boston, I got to do uh, a few of my favorite things. First was um, we went to Boston Common and then we went to Mike's Pastries, which is a Italian bakery. They have really good cannolis. I love cannolis. And we also went to my favorite restaurant, which is a hot pot. Um, it's a Mongolian hot pot, and it is called Q Restaurant. It used to be in Quincy, which is where I used to live. And it was called Little Q. And that's how, you know, I found it in the first place and, and all that stuff. And then it moved to Boston and they renamed it to just Q Restaurant. And 
It's really, really fun because you get to cook your food in a pot of boiling broth. And they have really good, they have watermelon smoothies that are really good, that are just like actual mushed up watermelon. I actually tried making them myself and it's really good. Just like put some watermelon in the blender with a little bit of ice and it is delicious. Um, and they have really amazing fried rice that has like, um, I don't know if they're, they look like goji berries, but I think they're called something else. So I forget what they are exactly. And we did a bunch of other things too in Massachusetts. I just, I'm probably forgetting them all. Cause like I said, I'm like, <laughs> barely here this morning I'm so tired and of course we get to see people my daughter got to play like my parents have some neighbors they have some Russian neighbors with two little girls so my daughter got to play with them and she had a blast and there's a lady from my mom's work that has three little kids and that we've been we just went to like parks and things like that there's lots of parks and playgrounds around so they had a fun time with that. Oh, and we went to the zoo. That was really, really fun. We went to Southwick Zoo, which is, I believe, in Menden. So that was a great time for Alessia. All right, I think I'm done. Um, and on our flight back so we get to the airport and we're um, we fly JetBlue that's my favorite <laughs> and they have a direct flight and oh my gosh I was trying to take this part off and I pulled and I took that off instead my door is open because it's kind of hot and so if you hear you know kids and dogs and all that stuff it's a little bit extra loud in this room today Hopefully the lighting is okay. I feel like the lighting on my camera is always drastically different than it is in um, real life. Like when I watch, <laughs> sorry, when I watch the video later when I edit it, I feel like it looks so different. So I can never find like the perfect setting because I mess around with it here and then it looks completely different on my computer. And I'm sure it depends on your computer. It looks, you know, different on everyone's computer probably. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yes. So our flight back. So uh, we get to the airport and we get to our you know gate where you wait for your plane and everything. And there is this guy there. And my mom's like, oh, he's a famous actor from a movie. And I was like, what? And then I look at him and I was like, oh, my gosh, he does look really familiar, but I can't figure out what movie he's from. And then she was thinking and she's like, he's from National Treasure. Um, he was like the, I don't know, the the assistant, I think, <laughs> um, to Nicolas Cage, and the actor's name is Jason Bartha, or no, Justin, Justin Bartha, and because I <laughs> looked him up real quick on my phone, I was like, oh my gosh, that's really him, like, it's not a person that looks like him, like, it is him, <laughs> it's exactly like him, so I was like, that's so cool, we should go ask to take a picture with him, he's on our plane, I'm so excited, uh, what is he doing going to Raleigh, but then he actually was not on our plane, he was just charging, like, his computer, because <laughs> there was a little charger thing there next to us, he was, like, really close to us, um, and then he went to, uh, like, the gate right next to us, that was going to Chicago, so that's where he was going, and we never asked him for uh, a picture or anything like that, because, I don't know, we're shy, <laughs> I'm really shy in real life, I know that it's, you know, I, I talk to you and it's different because it's talking, you know, to a camera, talking through a camera, I can be a little bit more outgoing this way, but in real life, I'm like very, very shy, and I also was thinking, you know, he probably doesn't want to be bothered, like nobody was bothering him and he was just kind of sitting there like looking down doing his thing so I was like he'd probably be annoyed like I don't know so we never talked to him but I'm almost positive that's who it was and that was really cool to see a celebrity in real life like that and my daughter is such a social butterfly she just talks to people and has no problems at all she's not shy at all <laughs> she's really funny so she was, she didn't talk to him. He wasn't like literally right next to us. He was a few seats away. But the people right next to us, she was like singing them songs and telling them all kinds of stuff. It was so funny. 
<laughs> so I don't know who she gets it from, but I hope she stays like this because I'm really happy for her. Like it's it's nice to be able to do that and to not be, you know, all shy and self-conscious. And I was really shy in high school. I think it's because I moved around so much and when I started high school I was the new kid and that kind of made things a lot worse for me too. Like it's hard enough to start high school but to start high school where like you don't know a single person. And my high school was a regional high school and it was two towns and so everybody just assumed that I was from the other town because they were kind of meeting each other for the first time and so nobody really talked to me. Or was like, hi, you're the new kid. Because they were like, they assumed that I wasn't new. <laughs> and I was just from another town. Um, but I did, obviously. I, I met people and made friends. I actually, my best friend in high school, he worked um, at McDonald's with me. I started working there the summer before. So I knew him before actually going into high school. So at least I knew one person, which was nice. But anyways, getting back to the whole shy thing. Um, I'm getting a lot better at just, you know, not really caring what people think and stuff like that and just being able to be more like myself in person, in public instead of being all tense and all that stuff. Um, but my dad, he, he's like my daughter, you know, he's just like, whatever, like, it's your life, like, why do you care what people think, like, you know, not to the point where you're annoying people and doing, you know, stuff like that, but just where he's, like, completely not shy and self-conscious. Like, if he wants to sing a song while he's shopping in the store, he'll just be singing a song, and I remember being in school, and I was just so embarrassed, I'm like, Dad, stop it, people are looking at us. <laughs> so, now I realize, like, that that's a good thing, and and I'm envious of that, and I try to be more like that myself, and I hope that uh, my daughter stays as, as social and as comfortable in her skin as she is now, because I realize what a good thing that is. This is a full-size Buxom Amplified Mascara. I bought it, finally, after having the other one for like a million years. <laughs> So I had a really good time on my vacation. My mom is here right now. She flew back to help me on the plane, which was good because, like I told you, my son came down with a fever, so it would have been extra hard to handle a sick baby and my crazy active daughter. But luckily, I had all kinds of things to entertain her, like stickers and coloring books, so she was able to stay seated the whole flight. Which wasn't, it wasn't a bad flight, it was like an hour and a half. So it was pretty, you know, tolerable amount of time. And my dad, you know, he's at home, he didn't fly down, just my mom did. She's here for a few days and then she flies back, so I'm trying to unpack and get as much done as I can while she's here. We got the groceries yesterday. And... It was such a nice trip. I miss my parents. Well, my mom's still here, but I miss my dad, and I know I'm going to miss her as soon as she leaves. It's, it's like, sad and happy. I'm so happy to see my husband and just, you know, be back in my own house and all that stuff and see my dogs. But at the same time, I'm, I'm sad to leave, too, so it was a really good trip. I had a really great, great time. And I can't remember what else I was going to tell you guys in this chit chat video, but I'm pretty much done. So, oh, I remember. So, I'm all into wire wrapping, which I mentioned before. And I post pictures on my Instagram of the things that I make. I sell some of them. I've actually been selling a lot of them. So, I'm going to... Um, make some for myself next because <laughs> when you're making them you're like oh let me make a few extras to sell to just kind of like uh, cover the costs of this hobby because it's a pretty expensive hobby to have you need all kinds of materials and tools and I like to use real like actual gemstones and stuff not like plastic beads and 
Um, I, so I started selling. I started I, I, pretty much everyone I made. I'm like, oh, I'll sell this one. And I've been posting them to sell. And I have <laughs> like none left for myself. And now I'm just like, oh my gosh, <laughs> I need to make some for myself because like I want to <laughs> wear them too. So that's what I'm going to focus on next is making some to keep. And my uh, mom, she makes, I actually have it here because I, I bought this little jewelry tree. And so far I just put my mom's stuff on here. But she makes glass beads like she actually uses a torch she goes to like a special studio um where she like pays to use that space and they have uh, a torch and they melt the glass and you like spin it around this stick to make a bead and then you can shape it and so like this is a really cute little glass owl that she made that she turned into this necklace and then um I don't know if you can see, but there's some matching earrings to this necklace, but she made like all these beads she made and all that stuff. So it's really impressive. I actually got to try it um, a couple years ago, like last time I visited them. And it's really, really hard. So <laughs> I don't know if she does it, but she's into jewelry making as well. And so I've been showing her my wire wrapping stuff and I got to do like a little class for her and her friend came over as well and I taught them how to wire wrap a little bit. My mom made these earrings and her friend made a little pendant. So that was really fun to kind of like share my hobby and um, passion with them and teach somebody something that was really fun. And something else I was going to tell you guys. What was I going to tell you? Oh, I visited my mother-in-law. She lives in Connecticut, so it's kind of close to Massachusetts, like an hour and a half away maybe. And I went to my sister-in-law, who lives there too, took me to this uh, place, which is amazing. I forget the name of the town, but it's somewhere in Connecticut. Um, it's not in Mystic, but it's like in that general vicinity. So if you're from there, it's like this dinosaur place. And we, it, we didn't actually do it because I didn't go there with my kids. Uh, but I guess it's like a little kid thing that has to do with like excavating dinosaurs and I don't know like kids activities themed like that but they have this store that has all kinds of gemstones and there's two different rooms we went into the first one first it's just like all tumbled stones everywhere and it was just amazing and then they had another room which was all stones as well but they were all beads and it was kind of pricey like the bead part of it was really pricey and I actually didn't get anything my mom got a few things like that she made the earrings from she got some amethyst like little beads and she got a few pendants just like plain heart-shaped little stones to to hang on a um, chain and I got some tumbled stones <laughs> I'm trying to hold these but you know I can't I got all of these little tumbled stones <laughs> there I have them here um, with me and they're just so cool. Look at this, how pretty this um, Amazonite is. And I wanted to ask, so I wrote down a few things that I didn't know that are a little um, different. Like some of these stones I just kind of have memorized and some of them I didn't. And so I wrote them down and one of them I, I forgot to write down and I have no idea what this is. So <laughs> I wanted to ask if anybody knows what this is. Because I have no clue. Oh, I'm just very bad at dropping things today, huh? And this was, well, I'm pretty sure this was, this is turquoise. But I thought it was like a longer word. I thought it was like turquoise something something. Not just plain turquoise. I don't know. So, if anybody knows that as well. But I'll, um, maybe I'll show this in another video if people are interested. I don't want this video to be extremely, extremely long, but kind of another thing I did that I wanted to tell you about and show you and that's it before this gets super duper long it's already actually it's only 17 oh no that's 17 minutes after I did my eyeliner because I paused it so yeah that's probably a solid half an hour so thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time bye